What's up, Calusa High School? We're so excited to have you guys back for another episode. I'm Luke. And I'm Lexi. And today we're starting off the broadcast with our recent 9-11 memorial. Here's Cassie with more information. On Friday morning on September 10th, Calusa High School had a memorial to honor the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Students and staff members gathered in the quad to take a moment of silence and to listen to an informational presentation. Later on at our home football game, a moment of silence was taken before Lexi Avery and Carson Gwinnup sang the national anthem. Although it has been 20 years since 9-11, our hearts still go out to all the families and people who have been personally affected by it. As a school, we'll continue to have our yearly moment of silence to honor all the lives that were lost on that tragic day. Thank you, Cassie. Up next, a fellow CHS student is working very hard to expand his band. Here's Clay and Cody with an interview to give you more of an insight. CHS senior Cody Whiting has caught the attention of the RHBC with his local band called Full Recovery. Cody has been playing the guitar since 2019 prior to the beginning of his band. I interviewed him about his experience as being a band leader. My name is Cody Whiting and I've been a CHS student for four years. Cody didn't put much thought into his band's name with him saying, There is no meaning, I just thought it sounded cool. He can be found on all major streaming platforms or watch him at his next show this Saturday in Rockland, uh, Audio Nerd. Cody plans to keep playing music while he's in college so he can refine his skills till his big break. Keep streaming Cody's music on all platforms to help him chase his dream. I can't wait to listen to some of his new music. Up next, you probably noticed it's been pretty smoky recently. Here's Seth to give you more information about the fires tearing through California. Fires have ripped through California and derailed many people's lives. Over 2 million acres have burned due to the 11 active wildfires across California. The Dixie Fire is responsible for 960,000 acres and has ripped through five different counties. The Caldor Fire east of Calusa has ripped through 220,000 acres and has burned through three counties. Fire evacuations have forced schools and jobs to shut down. These shutdowns had an impact locally as well as Calusa High Sports has been affected by these fires. Calusa High Football was scheduled to play Trinity September 3rd, but it was canceled due to the fires. Thank you for the information, Seth. Up next, we have an interview with our new principal, Mr. V. We're super excited to see what he has in store for us, and here's Cassie and Mr. V. You know, I chose to apply to Calusa High School as it was kind of one of those opportunities that just kind of just happens. Um, two years ago, I was coming back from Fort Bragg, and we drove through Calusa. Um, it was during the time of Fourth of July, and we just really admired how the town was decorated in flags, how people were out, how clean the community was, um, and just how kind of serene and peaceful it was. And so when I saw that the position opened up for the principal job, I decided to go ahead and apply for it, and um, I'm very glad I did because here, here we are. Um, you know, COVID-19 um, has been difficult. Um, just it's it's a lot of, um, you know, I think we, we kind of went in this year, you know, thinking that um, things were different, and things are different, but there's still, COVID's still around, um, still restrictions are there, and it's hard. It's hard to get students back where they need to be without the masks or being able to be indoors. Um, but we are making do and we're doing everything we can to keep kids um, and families in school. And that's, it's worth, it's worth all the hard work and dedication. We're so excited to have Mr. V as our principal this school year and can't wait to see what he has in store for us. Thank you, Cassie. And as most of you know, homecoming is right around the corner. What better way to celebrate than by dress up days? Here's Seth with an interview of Brooklyn and Leah. ASB has scheduled some awesome dress-up days for this year's homecoming. So we think that The Wizard of Oz is a great movie and it's classic and timeless and that everyone loves it, which is why we think celebrating it during homecoming week would be a great idea. So Monday is There's a Storm Coming, which is Blackout. And then Tuesday is Witch, which is Witch, which is Twin Day. And then Wednesday is all the classes with all the different themes. So freshmen are Munchkin Land, which is orange. Sophomores are Kansas, which is blue. Juniors is Witch's Castle, which is purple. And then seniors are Emerald City, which is green. And then Thursday is Lions, Tigers, Bears, Oh My, which is animal print or favorite Oz character. And then Friday, there's no place like Homecoming, which is Clusa gear. Homecoming is filled with many different activities throughout the week. So Wednesday, we have a night rally at 5.30, and then we have Powder Puff at 6. Make sure to show up. And then we also have a rally during school, followed by the football game. And then make sure to show up for the dance on Saturday, October 2nd. We can't wait for homecoming and we're excited to see everyone that attends all the great events that have been planned. Homecoming sounds like it's going to be a blast and in honor of Ask Week, I wanted to ask my co-anchor to the dance with me. Oh my goodness, yes! Wait! <laughs> and here's, and here's with the sports! <laughs> hey. 
What's up, Hawks? I'm JC. And I'm Reese, and this is a Red Zone Recap. Lady Red Hawk tennis is finally underway, and the girls showed off in an excellent start against PV last week, as Stefania Cervantes and Brianna Pignon got off to a great start in their singles. The duo of Emily Valdez and Renee Rezinski is also looking very promising for the season. Cross Country is off to a fast start with some varsity wins. Kevin Sarabia has been killing it out there. Great job, Cross Country. Volleyball is looking great and has started off the season strong. The Lady Hawks are undefeated in league and are not letting off the gas. Their most recent win was last time on the road against Pierce. They are eager for more as they take on Durham here on Tuesday and Winters away on Thursday. Let's support our Lady Hawks by attending their games. Football is undefeated as well. After an impressive 4-0 start, the Hawks will host their first league game here against Pierce in the effort to run the Bears out of town and keep the win streak rolling. Come out and support the boys tonight. Now let's move on to the players of the week and have them tell us what their pregame ritual is. Senior wide receiver, Nicholas Price. Before each game, I like to go home and lay in bed and eat my chicken and rice. Oh, and he is in! Touchdown! Senior libero, Anahi Guzman. My pregame ritual is working the snack bar for the JV game with my friend Abby Wolf and we always eat Airhead Extremes. Naomi Silva. My pregame routine before cross country meet is to drink lots of water, stretch, focus on a goal, and get into a positive mindset. Sophomore, Joanna Rodriguez. My pregame ritual is to bounce the ball three times before my first serve. Thank you for that reason, JC. And today is the day of the senior guy option, so come support your seniors. There's a football game tonight against Pierce, so make sure to come and watch. The theme is whiteout, so bring a white shirt. If you're an FBLA and wanting to attend LDI, make sure to get your permission slips in and pay by September 24th. Senior pages are now on sale, and if you want one, come talk to Ms. Myers in the front office. And that concludes the second episode of the Red Hawk broadcast. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. And as always, go, go Red, Red Hawks! Hawks.